I'd just cuffed the whelp for scuffing my boot with the stirrup when... Oh, abominable. My, my, what have we here? Someone interesting for a change. You look bored, handsome. Why don't you get me a drink? Jorian whiskey? You strike me as a lady who likes something with a little bite. Stop encouraging her, Rafid. You need no more opportunities to drag our family's name through the mud. You must leave, now, and use the servant's exit. People would talk if they saw someone of your ilk here. I knew I should have polished my helmet. I guess I should have worn my strapless blast vest. Now that would have been a sight to see. <laughs> Do shut up, Rafid, or I'll be speaking to your father. Must you two squabble in front of our guests? You're causing more of a stir than our visitor here. Ladies and gentlemen, please, return to the festivities. I will have a few words with our esteemed guest here. Esteemed? That's me. Glad to meet somebody civil. Forgive my relations. They have a low threshold for impropriety. You aren't seriously considering dealing with this thug? Uncle, please. I have the situation well in hand. Return to the festivities. This is not a request. I believe I know why you're here, but this is a discussion best held in private. Please wait in my office. I'll be right with you. All right, Gold. Let's go find his office. Look at them all. Well, this is a first. Are the Gerards offering blood sport for entertainment? They're avant-garde. I... I think it's time to go, dear. Snobs. One statue wasn't enough. Definitely snobs. Damn, I feel naked. But, alas, when they don't serve drinks with straws, the only way to get a bus around here. I'm a bounty hunter. I'm after the Durasteel Duke. Can you help or not? Right to the point, yes? I'm afraid the Duke and his sister left House Gerard some time ago under... Unpleasant circumstances. House Gerard now has a vested interest in finding the Duke and having him meet an unpleasant end. A minor noble claims to have a lead on the Duke. However, he insists on meeting in person, which I'm not willing to do. Instead, I will employ you. I don't do unpleasant. Formalities aren't in my job description. I can't expect you to navigate the intricacies of our society. But I can give you the authority to negotiate on my behalf. From this point on, you will act as House Gerard's advocate. A role of honor. Come. I will walk you through the appointment ceremony. Let's not. Just set up this deal. The Duke's not getting any debtor. You have a point. Let us move with haste. It is customary for information to be double encrypted in these transactions. So Lord Malthus must enter his half of the key before you take the data. I'll let Malthus know you'll arrive at his encampment soon. Be on your best behavior. Always. I'm always at my best behavior. Alderaan. Where a palace isn't really a palace until... It's a city-sized thing. Imagine having to clean a place like that. Or even dust it. Or, hell, even find your own bedroom. Maybe they have droids to carry them to their rooms. So, um, Mako is going to be so pissed at me. <laughs> for leaving her back at the ship. Especially when I tell her how gorgeous this planet looks.
Huh. Excuse me, I'm just gonna... Don't let me interrupt your fun little war. I feel like home. Maybe even take off my helmet again to really smell the fire, the burning flesh. <laughs> what do you say, Galt? I wonder what they're fighting over. Did someone wear a scandalous wrong-colored dress at a party? Or not enough lipstick? Stop right where you are. You have no rank here. Etiquette dictates that no one below my rank is permitted within ten paces of my person without my express consent. Used to be five paces. I suppose the war is making people jumpy. Wait, you... you are the advocate of House Gerard? Outrageous! I would not trust the likes of you to scrub my sewage, let alone deliver vital correspondence. Scrub your sewage? You know what's outrageous? Your hat. That's quite a mouth you got there. Mom was a nerf herder, huh? I will not trade barbs with a base-born wretch. Honor dictates this message must stay in my care until I give it to someone of rank, not a trained thranta. Look, I have here tokens of respect for my peers, a mission for a page. Deliver them and earn a ten-year-old's honor. Then I can speak to you. I'm over this diplomacy thing. How about I deliver your teeth? Your artful diplomacy is a wonder to behold. I know, right? Oh, you struck me! How dare you! You leather-faced harpy! I'll see you <laughs> suffer for that! What are you else waiting for? Pound this curd to the ground! Oh, he's almost fun. This is gonna be fun. I'll betcha they've never seen diplomacy like this before. hiding behind the couch of course he is that bodyguard has never even seen the business end of a weapon before excuse me there's a stain on your table i'm just gonna Baron Zaka will hear of this offense cover it up. enjoy explaining why my information will now go to someone else I demand that you prostrate yourself and beg for mercy. Or so help me, I'll have you brought before a tribunal for these grievous affronts. Think again, pal. You're a slow learner. Oh, stop that! Your regret- All right, all right, all right, quarter, quarter, I relent. This was fun. I shall enter my half of the security key. You take this message to Baron Zakhar with my fond regards. Don't know what bruised more easily, his ego or his face. His hat. May we never meet again. His hat. Clearly. His hat. Ah. <laughs> so, this diplomacy thing is really up my alley, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I might enjoy my stay on Alderaan. They're not done yet? Oh well, let them have their fun. I thought the Imperials were supposed to be keeping a tight leash on those sorts of things. Things? Was she talking about me? Excuse me. Wow, their paycheck to the Academy of Snobbery really paid off. It is clear that you have plans in motion, nephew. Ah, your newest lackey. Tell me, did my nephew mention that he already hired a bounty hunter and got him promptly killed? I'm the only bounty hunter you need to worry about. Just save me the trouble of taking him off the payroll. Hmm. Think that was the you-know-who, here for the you-know-what? If you would please excuse yourself, Uncle. I have business with my advocate. 
I see how your brat Rafid learned to disgrace us. Advocate. Ah. I just got a very impolite communication from Lord Malthus, huh. saying that you assaulted him. Is that true? No. I gave him a beating. I convinced him it'd be a bad idea to hold out on me. You know, I'm beginning to appreciate your particular brand of diplomacy. Me too. According to Malthus's information, Duke Corwin is in negotiations with our enemy, House Organa. They're placing messages in phony relics at House Alder's Royal Museum for later retrieval. Duke Corwin's placed an imposter relic in the museum recently. You'll have to forcibly enter House Alder and find it. Sounds like fun. I'll get my gear together and head back out. House Alder has the support of Organa and the Republic. Do not underestimate them. And use extreme caution. The museum holds priceless cultural treasures. Nobody wants to be responsible for destroying that heritage. Priceless is something Alderanians only use to describe things they still own. Catch my drift. <laughs> yep, I do. <sighs> I'm having fun. <laughs> and I feel like Galt was the perfect companion to bring along. I'm not sure I like him just yet, but it makes my life more interesting, that's for sure. Look at those. They're trying so hard not to notice I'm here. <laughs> okay. Um, we're headed east. Disappointing that I couldn't try a Tranta. Well, it would be like a Tranta riding a Tranta, according to some people, with ugly hats. So I guess that would be R rated. <laughs> the contrast between Tatooine and Alderaan is noticeable. I think we're here. Like I said, they've got a freaking city. Their palace. Their palace is one big city. Alright, let's have some fun, Gold. Seeing stars?
museum? Hmm, that sounds promising. If you want anything in here, you'll have to carry it yourself. Just saying. Mm, that's gonna leave a mark. On them, you mean? Definitely. You see him, guards, huh? Do you think they've ever fought before? Think so. A Thranta? What the hell is that? Not that I'm into this archaeology thing, but uh, it's a freaking head in a jar. What? Do you know who that is? Galt, you, you know everything about stuff like this, don't you? Fill me in on the way back, would you? Okay, um, I've got no comments. And, uh, <laughs> a slight earthquake. <laughs> Let's just, um, refresh before we continue. What is all that noise? Jackpot, how good are you at shooting with your hands full? Oh. Oh, no. Out, please. Take your battles elsewhere. This museum has no strategic value. I suggest you help me, then. You're gonna keel over if you keep that up. Just point out the fake, and I'm gone. You must be mistaken. Each piece here is an irreplaceable artifact from Alderaan's long and distinguished heritage. Some are thousands of years old. You must go before anything is damaged. I'll try not to hit the head. I won't lay a finger on a thing if you help me find what I'm looking for. I have cared for these antiquities for 57 years. Every item here is the genuine article. I can prove it to you. I have an integrity scanner we use for restoration work. It will only take a few minutes to scan for a num- Oh no! The security cameras, they've spotted you. You can't fight in here. Guess you better hurry then. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Where's, where's he going? Silly man. I think I knocked him cross-eyed. I really don't know what you expect to find, but look out! What are you finding? How many more to go? Only a few more to scan. Good. Just another moment, please. Sure, take please your time, old man. Please don't kill me. I'm having a good time, so... 
Take your time. Anything? I... I've... I've found something. But that's impossible. If this is a fake, where is the real first founding memorial vase? A vase. Of course it is. You work well under fire. Ever thought about bounty hunting? Don't be preposterous. <laughs> I did nothing more than my duty to protect these cherished treasures. You have what you want. Now, please, leave. Please. He's been here for 57 years, he said. He's missing out on life. <laughs> ah, perfect. Accept your hand? <laughs> I'd sooner thrust my fist into a thresher. I, I don't understand. I, I thought this had already been arranged. Approved. Advocate, be so kind as to remove this thing from my presence. Kindness doesn't pay. Try again. You would have this thug manhandle me? Ugh. Fine. I'll pay you. Just get this insufferable swine out of here. Come on, fatbag. She ain't interested. D this must be some kind of mistake! Ugh. Well, that was at least worth a week's pocket money. I hope you know what to do with that much. I'll try not to spend it all in one place. Good day, advocate. Ugh! 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 